we are going by the same method of identifying our, our hotspots. So we've used our data to help us with this. And that's how come together with the regions, we agreed on setting areas. Because if you are distributing these limited quantities, you cannot spread it thinly. If you do that, you won't get any desired result. So we are looking at 11 districts, 7 in Greater Accra region, 4 in Greater Kumasi Metro, used advisedly, virtually Ashanti region. And so we have done the training for the regions and the districts involved. They will do what we call the cascaded training, which will target the districts and the facilities and eventually to roll out the vaccines in, the, in their designated vaccination center. We are still looking at the most at risk. Of course, we are also pursuing additional vaccines for them. Everybody is at risk, but definitely there are more vulnerable people. And so that's what we are looking looking at now. Johnson & Johnson is giving us one dose and so we are giving it to the vaccine naive people, those who have never received any vaccine. We agreed, in fact, because of the 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 zeal to fail this epidemic, once we get a vaccine, we don't want to put them for, I mean, put them down for too long. So we've agreed. It's a very difficult undertaking, but we are hopeful that at least Greater Accra should be able to start on Friday. Kumasi will be traveling today, so we, it will not be realistic to expect Ashanti to start tomorrow because they have to do their training. They are on their way. We finished last night and they will be on their way today. They will do their planning, of course, some online, some in person. And so hopefully by Monday, they should also be able to start. But for Greater Accra, we know some of the districts can start tomorrow. All the vaccines we have available by documentation are effective against all the strains that are available. We don't know which one is doing better than which other. All we know is that they are all effective against all the the strains. I don't want to single out any strain. The other thing is that we are not giving these vaccines to any person who has received a vaccine. We don't even know the interaction, how it's going to work. So we don't advise it at all. It will be given to people who have never received a vaccine. We have their database and also they, remember the district would ask for an ID card. So you mention your name, the ID card, they will cross-check, it will pick up some duplications and all that. But nobody should actually try to upgrade the system because if it happens, they will be found at the wrong side of the, of the law.